Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day you're watching this. I'm Stephen Hayes. This is my beautiful wife. Lauren Hayes. You're watching SNL, and this is Driving, Driving Thursday. Thursday. Cute music. Hey, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. And if you're not enjoying your week, we're glad that you joined us. So hopefully we gave you some inspiration, gave you some ideas, and gave you some things to help get you thriving. But today we're going to turn it up with a little bit different topic. Something we haven't gotten a chance to talk to y'all about too much. But here we go. Without further ado, my beautiful wife Lauren is going to take it away and going to give us some information about. We are homeschooling this year. Homeschooling. Homeschooling. That's right. So that's been interesting. And I thought we would do this, like, share with people what we've been doing. Um, so far we're using... Um, we're using teaching textbooks for math as well as we have a program called Adaptive Math, I think yeah. it's called. Adaptive Minds. Or Adaptive Minds. Yeah. Um, for a math program, you can buy it on a, for um, teaching textbooks, you can buy it on um, a CD so your kid doesn't have to be online, but you can do it online. We're just doing the trial one right now. I think we might switch our kids to the Saxon math book because I feel like it'd be more on task with the teaks. We're in Texas. And so if we decided to put them back in school, I want them to be... Um, we want to make sure they hit all those mile markers that they need to hit in order to go back into the proper grade level yeah. if or we, the next higher one. If we were for sure only going to be homeschooling, it, doesn't, it wouldn't matter because um, a lot of time homeschool kids just, they go at their own pace, but you can work more one-on-one -on -one so they catch up or sometimes even um, surpass that. There's a lot of homeschooling people that um, go to you know college or take college classes early because they're able to advance because you can um, differentiate is that the right word the learning like you can make it more difficult like if they're if they're struggling in English you could um, you know work on a lo lower grade and then catch them up to the grade and if they're doing good in math you can have them keep on going on I don't know the word is continuing to advance them but um, yeah. and so we have a friend well we have actually have I have a few friends that are teachers but one friend in particular um, helps me to um, make sure that I'm doing stuff that will be in line. So I kind of have to keep going back to that. There's a website I was going to share. We'll just put it on the bottom because I yeah. can't remember the we'll name of it. Put it down in the description. Um, there is put a on the link TV, down underneath us. On the Texas Education Agency, they do have <laughs> they do have some things, but she showed me an easier link to kind of understand it because I said it was speaking teacherese. It was really um, in teacher language. So anyway, um, we're doing for English, we're doing the good and the beautiful, which for, um, I think it's grades K through six. <laughs> Man, why are you going down? Fine, I'll go down too, otherwise it's weird. Um, I went down because you, you were so short compared to me. I was, you was like at my shorter level, so I went ahead and leave my short. Anyway, you got me off focus. So they have, um, the free English curriculum, ELER, so like the English grammar reading stuff. Um, you can free printables for that um, age group, or you can buy it and then they can bind it for you and they'll send it. But we're just using the free one for now. Science, I think we might buy a book from Apologia, but for right now, we, we consider doing like unit studies, so just picking a topic that we like and then doing like all the English and science and and so since Steven's taking um, anatomy, anatomy yes. and physiology in school I get to head the science department we, of the he, Hayes yeah. Tribe Elementary School so we've been human anatomy for now because yes so, anatomy that's I said what better things to learn mm -hmm. about first when you're trying to incorporate science and things that are applicable than the human body yeah, everybody has one so that's been good. awesome. I'm excited. Um, we yeah. got some interactive tools that I'm able to use because I'm taking anatomy. So I'm able to give like interactive stuff. We can actually do dissections and stuff all uh, using like a tablet. So it's not the same hands-on that you would get, but because of COVID, we know that there's things we're limited yeah. to anyway. We're not, we're not dissecting so. anything in this, in this house at this moment anyway. No, I told really you, we <laughs> dissect on the tablet. Like you can actually do cutaways of the heart. It's well, a really, really cool app. 
and talking about uh, the kids loved it. Like we were <laughs> no, over there, like tripping out, and they're they're thinking it's like a video game. They're like spinning the heart around. You can see the human body, the skeleton. You can anyway. take away the, the different so, organ systems, and so we're learning together. I'm learning from share. my class. They're learning for you know their education in science. I'll share some of the books we have. We have some us. I think it's called Us Born books. Also on the human body that I bought previously that are, are good for different lists of different systems. I'll try to leave some links for some books because even if you're not homeschooling, maybe your kid likes that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I thought they're good. It's great um, supplemental education and that's, that's one yeah. of the ways we start out is some of the stuff we were just using it to supplement what they were learning throughout the school year. Yeah. Uh, we use it to continue learning throughout the summer so that way they were doing something during the summer that was also educational other than just getting, you know, yeah. A bunch of video games. So those was, was some of the things that we incorporated. So, and on that, I'm also head of the math department. Oh kind of goes together, right? Science and math. Head of math department, you know. So I just want to <laughs> toot toot my own little horn there. Um, pretty excited. But uh, on a serious note, just uh, one of the things that that homeschooling has allowed us to do is really engage our kids. And so not just getting time with this throughout the day, but um, sitting down and getting time with this when it comes to their education. So uh, being able to work one-on-one -on -one sometimes with the kids, especially yeah. older ones that are in elementary school, being able to work one-on-one -on -one with them through those math problems and stuff like that and, and kind of seeing them figuring things out and learning how to problem solve um, has been, you know, a, a nice little journey for me. I found out about Gather Round Homeschool. And so this is the um, United States mini unit for government and I figured with um, the elections coming up and that we could kind of um, learn a little bit more about that and I know they already learned like history in school but I wanted to deep dive into it. We have a three or four yeah. and then a nine and an eight year old so, so our three and four year old they're not going to be at the same maturity level or level of understanding as our nine and eight yeah. year old which allows us to do more okay. activities like so this is a pre-reader one and um, our two younger ones that are three and four will be um, doing this. So it's a lot of like coloring, let me see, like coloring and um, saying, uh, what state do you live in kind of stuff and what are the colors of the flag, um, a little bit about the fa founding fathers and then it even gets into like amendments and civil rights and stuff like that. I always find things are kind of a little bit biased and even so with this curriculum, I mean, a lot of homeschool curriculum. There is secular and then um, Christian homeschool um, curriculum, but I found it, it just says stuff sometimes that's just like weird. What would be an example of something that's weird that somebody okay. may not know what you're talking about? Well, you don't have to show it. I'm just asking you. What would be for an instance in one of the in one of these books? It was talking about the differences between um, Republicans and Democrats, and it was obviously biased in in favor of um, Republicans. And so you can, you know, tell the bias there, saying that like d Democrats were for abortions, and I just found fault with that, I guess, because I just feel like that's not necessarily true. Yeah, not every I, Democrat and, has um, to be for abortion because they're yeah. Democrat. And it's like not every Republican is for, um, you know, pro-life just because they're a Republican. So yes. that's that. <laughs> Our kids like creating their own music. That that much is true. They we'll definitely see. like creating their own music. We'll see how it goes. It feels like if we were to continue this, that I might write some of our own curriculum or um, kind I of get stuff to write some too. for stuff. Yeah. Um, just because I feel like we can go off of a base of thing and then just kind of fill in where I feel like there's gaps. So and then because um, some curriculum that seem to be more well rounded, I still feel like in history they lack, but like. They're expensive. Things can be expensive, but there is free homeschooling stuff too. So I guess we can write down some different things that I heard about. When everybody's trying to, you know, make the best choices that they can for their families, for their loved ones, um, while we get through the pandemic, and so we realize that, and that's why we thought it'd be important to share with you, you know, what we decided to do, and you know, some of the things, the mm -hmm. tools that we're using, because maybe you'll, if you're looking at, you know, making a similar choice in, in homeschooling, or you're just looking at some ways that you can supplement the education, maybe not make it as dry, make it more relevant, or like like Laura mentioned earlier, fill in some of those gaps um, where they're learning stuff in school, but because the teacher has to keep them on a schedule, maybe there's some things that they kind of breeze over and maybe your student is interested in it. And so you, yeah. you now have some more materials 
You can take you can a deep go, dive into it. Yeah, you can take a deeper dive at home uh, into that information and help them research that and enjoy it. Wow. I'm, I'm working part-time and Steven's going to school. So. Full-time. <laughs> so, I don't know how much actual like cross-country trips we're going to be doing, but like, you know, maybe some local things like when we do like studying about Native Americans, find a local Native American tribe or maybe some kind of something going on history, like a museum. Yeah. So we can... So we definitely want them to learn about different Explore cultures that. because so. it's important to us. You know, we're all human beings, and so, so. It's, like the song says, "We all bleed the same." No, but um, the idea is that you know we want to teach them, you know, about humanity and human rights and how to treat others with kindness, even if they're not doing it to you. So it's I mean, it's about they teaching don't believe them believe the same way as you. Exactly. <laughs> Think you know, the same way as you. You can yeah. still work together regardless of differences. Yeah. So it, it's those things that we really want to instill those those basic at the core values um, in our kids. And that's what homeschooling kind of gives, um, gives more of that power back to us to be able to do, to control the curriculum and really help them c develop their, their own personalities within that. Yeah. All right, so this ends season five, episode two. We're gonna go ahead and let the music take you out but we want to make sure y'all understand that it it's Thursday. We want y'all to keep thriving. thriving. That's keep right. Thriving. Keep thriving. Keep thriving. Y'all have a blessed week. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. It's Thursday. 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 Let's go. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. We thriving. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. We thriving.